deconstructing the past to help you make sense of today. Time for another award-winning episode of Pre-Nicene Perspective with your host, Darren Kalama. The following is the daily rebroadcast of the original Pre-Nicene Christian Mass from the 2nd century. Download a copy of the liturgical guide at marshnightchurch.org. The day begins with a service of the Word at dawn and ends with the main Mass at dusk, followed by a fellowship meal. Awake, thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light, honor, and glory through endless ages to the King of all ages, the immortal, the invisible, who is alone God. Glory in the heights to God on earth, peace to men, favor. We praise you, bless you, worship you, laud you, we give you thanks for your great glory. O Lord, King of heaven, God, the Father, all-powerful, Lord, the only Son, Jesus Christ, and you, Holy Spirit, O Lord God, God's Lamb, the Father's Son. You take away the world's sins, have mercy on us. You take the world's sins away, accept our prayer. You sit at the Father's right hand, have mercy on us, for you alone are holy, you alone, our Lord, O Jesus Christ, for God the Father's glory, amen. I rise, I rise and pledge myself, myself to God, God to do, do no deed at all of dark. This day shall be his sacrifice, and I unmove my passions. Lord, I blush, I blush to be so old and foul, and yet to stand before his table. You know what I would do. O Christ, O then to do it, make me able. At the conclusion of the service of the word, all would resume their daily activities and gather again at dusk. The main mass would then proceed. May God, the author of all endurance and all encouragement, enable you to be all of one mind, according to the mind of Christ Jesus, so that you may all have but one heart and one mouth to glorify God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God, the author of our hope, fill you with all joy and peace in your believing, so that you may have hope in abundance through the power of the Holy Spirit. May God, the author of peace, be with you all. God, who is the author of peace, will crush Satan under your feet before long. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. The selected scripture and sermon will now be read. It is immediately followed by the Eucharistic prayer. The Lord is with you. May he be with your spirit too. Set your heart on the things above. They are fixed on the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and proper that we should. We give thanks, O God, through your dear child, Jesus Christ, to whom in this, the last of all periods of time, you sent to save and redeem us, and to tell us what you wanted of us. He is your word, inseparable from you. You made all things through him, and you were well pleased with him. He did what you wanted him to do, and when he suffered, acquiring thereby a holy people for you. He stretched out his hands to free those who believed in you from suffering. When he was handed over to undergo the suffering, he had chosen himself, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains the devil held us in, crush hell beneath his feet, give light to the just, make a covenant and manifest his resurrection. He took bread, gave thanks to you and said, take this and eat it. It is this body of mine that is to be broken for you. In the same way, he took the chalice saying, this is my blood being shed for you. When you do this, you will be commemorating me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you bread and a chalice and we thank you for enabling us to stand before you and serve you. We ask you to send down your Holy Spirit on the offering the Holy Church makes to you, to unite all who receive Holy Communion and to fill them with the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth, so we may give you praise and glory through your child, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Holy Communion is now dispensed, followed by the singing of O Gladsome Light. O gladsome light of the Holy Glory of the immortal Father, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the same 
setting of the sun, then be all the light of evening. We praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for meet it is at all times to worship Thee with voices of Son of God and giver of life, therefore all the world doth glorify Thee. Your prayers are more likely to be answered now. For it is easier to obtain what you have asked when you are being persecuted. Beseech the good God then, as earnestly as you can, that we may all confess his name to the end, and that we too may emerge unscathed and glorious from the snares of this world and its darkness, as we have been linked together by charity and peace, and together have withstood persecution from the pagans, so we may rejoice together in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. At the conclusion of Mass, a fellowship meal was shared by all. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Pre-Nicene Perspective, and we invite you to learn more at theveryfirstbible.org.